Hey everyone, Dave here with Spectora. We're going to go over pay splits in this video. So let's jump into our settings page and scroll down to advanced tools. In this window, we're going to find enable pay splits. Now click set up pay splits on the right hand side, and this will bring us to our pay split manager. Now here, we're going to set up inspector specific pay splits. This means um, your inspectors can have one flat percentage, for example, for all services. You can have different percentages or different flat rates for services as well. So here's how we can set this up. For example, let's pop into my inspector, George. Say I want to give him 50% of the majority of his services. I'm going to click edit for this first option. I'm going to change this to 50 and keep the other settings the same. Now, this will be a, just an overall 50% of everything he does, but I might want to give him a different pay split for maybe radon testing. So in a scenario like this, I can click add service or add on. And now I want to select a specific service here in this drop down menu. We can see our main services, residential inspection, followed by my radon add on and my termite add on to residential inspection. Commercial building with the same add-ons, 11 month warranty and so on. This will pull directly from your services and fees setup itself. So make sure that is worded the proper way so you can see it on here and it all makes a little more sense. Let's say radon, I wanna give him a flat amount. I can change that here and $80, that's good enough for now. I can adjust this a few more times because that was my radon add-on to residential. I now want to get my radon add-on to my commercial building inspection. Same deal. Let's give him a flat rate. And I also have a standalone radon option. I cannot forget about that. So let's find it. Standalone radon. Maybe this one I'll give him $100 as a flat rate. Here's an example of setting this up. You could do it for every single service. You can really customize this as you need to. Of course, setting these up for different inspectors as well. Now I'm gonna show you a little bit of what this looks like on a single inspector inspection and a uh, two inspector inspection as well. Some, there'll be some small differences there. I have this inspection set up uh, to reflect a single inspector on an inspection. So I'm, I'm on my standard inspection details page. I scroll down a little bit and at the bottom left, I see my pay splits for George. I can click George and this will open up a window where it gives me the breakdown of the percentages or the flat rates for each service. Pretty simple. This will just calculate it. Um, I can pull a pay, uh, a pay split report for George or for all my inspectors at the end of every week, two weeks, every month. And then I can go through my normal pay, payout process uh, from there. Now, looking at this from a two inspector perspective, this next uh, inspection here, um, I have another inspection details page. And towards the bottom under pay splits, I have George and Clark. I gave them the same pay splits, but what we do is we only calculated automatically for the first inspector. So you'll have to pop in here and make a few adjustments. Now this can be done pretty quickly. I wanna click assign right in my pay splits box. This will allow me to click and drag each of my inspectors on to the service that they are doing. Now let's say George and Clark are both doing the home inspection. Instead of them each getting their normal 50%, I can put them both onto the residential inspection. It'll give them half of their normal 50%. So this breaks down to 100 each. Maybe George is doing radon, Clark is doing termite. I can split things up accordingly there, click save. And this all calculates and saves onto this inspection where I can then access it later on my pay split report. Um, so these are some quick ways to adjust it. Of course, you can change this here at any point in time. So if I wanna give someone an extra bonus, I can simply adjust it on my end and that will record. Now, as far as the reports go, you can select different times, whether it's a week, two weeks, or a month to pull a report so you know how much to pay your inspectors. Uh, you can download spreadsheets for your records as well. The only thing we don't do is actually take the money out of your bank and give it to your inspector. So you'll still have to go through that same payout process for them. But simple tool really helps save a lot of time on the back end. So uh, if you have any questions on that, type into the bubble and let us know. Thanks.